The Permian mass extinction occurred about 250 million years ago, at the end of the Permian period. About 90% of all species were killed off, including 96% of invertebrates. This in turn led vertebrates to dominate in the periods that followed. The Permian period is characterized by the first tetrapods, especially the synapsids, which dominated the Permian period. This also led to the first archosaurs of the Triassic period, which include the lineage of dinosaurs which dominated the Mesozoic era. Uh, due to the Cambrian explosion during the beginning of the Phanerozoic era, this included the first diversification of invertebrates throughout this era, and also created the first brachiopods, which would go extinct during the Permian extinction. The main theory is that a group of volcanoes known as the Siberian Traps erupted. This released large quantities of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, and ocean temperatures rose dramatically as a response. This killed off much of the coral reefs, and in turn, much of their marine life. Land species were also killed off by the noxious gases. Among species that went extinct during the Permian mass extinction included Eurypterids, Trilobites, Blastoids, and Echanthodians. Trilobites and Eurypterids, which stood out among most marine invertebrates, were marine arthropods that roamed along the ocean floors. During the Permian-Triassic extinctions, water, waters became extremely acidic, which also led to the extinction of both of these species. Because of the large level of die-off, surviving species had greater effect on the following periods. With less competition, they could adapt to niches left by extinct species. This, in turn, caused dramatic shifts in the general demographics and types of species that existed on the planet. For example, vertebrates became very successful in later periods, as did amphibious and reptilian species. Climates were relatively cool during the Permian period, with woodlands covering most land masses during this time. Rainforests were also present in northern Pangaea, while glaciation also occurred in the southern poles of Gondwana. However, after the mass extinction during the Triassic period, which is the first period of the Mesozoic era, Climates became extremely arid, with vast deserts covering most continents of Pangaea. Among surviving species were the bivalves, which are invertebrates that still survive today. Synaptids also survived. These evolved into Dictagons and eventually Lastrosaurus. Lastrosaurus then evolved into the Arthosaurs, a group that included both dinosaurs and crocodiles. As seen in the graph here, the Permian mass extinction experienced the most die-off compared to any other extinction, which the mass extinctions include five, and this also includes the one we're experiencing now, and also the one at the end of the Cretaceous where all the dinosaurs died with the asteroid. And in this other graph, we also see that over 90% of living species had died during the Permian mass extinction, while 10% remained and survived and eventually diversified during the Triassic, which is the period after the Permian. And these include the first fishes, which uh, appeared during the Devonian, and also the synapsids, which eventually led to the first archosaurs, then also the dinosaurs during the Triassic period, and also the bivalves, which replaced the brachiopods, which diversified during the Cambrian explosion, which we talked about earlier. And 